It's Monday and you know we love to gather around the table with our friend Jolene Ketzenberger. She's always letting us know all the new places to check out around yeah. town. We're going to grab a bite. Absolutely. Hi Jolene. Hey Jolene. Good. Good to be here. Good to see you as always. <laughs> well, when you're here. Yeah. Thank you. you have a full lineup today. Always, always something to talk about. Um, but I was happy to pop into the best chocolate in town, which has moved back to Mass Ave. Oh, nice. Okay. So it had been at the east end of Mass Ave for a long, long time. And uh, you might have seen it in pop-ups at the Fashion Mall. That's right. right. Yes. Uh, but owner Carrie Abbott is back on Mass Ave with all your favorite truffles and, and dipped pretzel Aww. things. And, and wow. oh, her frittle candy, of course. She's been frittle. on. She's amazing. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Oh, I just love good. the boldness in the name, too. <laughs> the it's just, best. It's just the best, the just best. The best chocolate in town, in town, right here. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, it's very good. But lo of course, lots of other things happening. Um, so I am looking forward to King Doe opening in Carmel. So you know they're they're there on uh, at Highland and uh, Michigan Street. Okay. Yeah. Um, and so they will be opening soon on Old North Meridian Street in Carmel. Oh, love uh, that. With their with their delicious pizzas and don't sleep on that burger either. That burger oh, is delicious. Really? So don't See, miss the burger. These are the tips. <laughs> these, these are the tips are the that you need That's to right. hear. Because you would think pizza in joint. King Doe, right? But they have an excellent burger. Don't sleep on you the burger. You know what? Right. I wouldn't have tried it, but now that you say it. There you go. We kind of have, have to. Yeah. yeah. Uh, speaking of burgers, I want a nice little segue there. So <laughs> Smashed, okay. um, a Smash Burger concept will be opening in Irvington on Johnson Avenue. That's the former Bougie Biscuit location. Oh. Remember oh. that? Um, and so they will be opening, not, but not today like, like people might have been looking forward to, but later in the month. Okay. okay. So okay, it, is coming, it is coming soon. Yeah, so I just want to make sure everything's so that's good. That's smooth right. for the opening. That's okay. right. I don't so blame those them. delicious yes. smash burgers there as well. So all right. Um, and then I guess I was on the east side this week. So up at uh, near 75th and Shadeland, um, Alib, the former Alibi's Grill will be becoming another Lincoln Square Pancake oh, House. Okay. okay. More Lincoln Square Pancake yeah. Houses. They so recently opened downtown on Market Street. Yeah. Of course, there's one in Irvington as well. This will be the 12th location. Wow. Local location. Good for for, them. for the Lincoln Square folks. Now, is Alibi's moving somewhere? Is it closing? Oh, so that has closed. That is closed. That okay, has closed. Got it. All right. Um, and Lincoln Square will be opening in Bloomington this summer, too. Come on. Oh, oh wow. Right? So. So doing lot, well. That's lot, amazing. Lots yeah. of pancakes. Yeah. Lots of pancakes. Yeah. Um, and then um, you know you mentioned the farmers market. Well, yes. this is the big weekend, the big week for the farmers markets to to be back outside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and keep in mind that the Broad Ripple Farmers Market is moving back to Rural Street behind the Lowe's in Glendale. Okay. So okay. They have been yes. on North Meridian Street at Second Presbyterian Church for the past couple of years, and now they will be back in in Broad Ripple behind the Lowe's. Or in Glendale. Okay, okay perfect. Good to know. Yeah. I love farmers market scene. They're so fun. Isn't it great? Uh, you yeah. go there and you the see best. all the, the farmers and artisans. So get out there and support our, our local farmers and food producers. Yeah. yeah. Try some tasty stuff. We're always too. bringing business cards everywhere oh, I know. we go to the farmers <laughs> like, market. Come on the like, show. Hey, come, on the show. come on the show. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So you'll find all sorts of good stuff. So looking forward to farmers outdoor farmers market season. Oh, great. I love that. Yeah. Jolene, if people want to follow along with you, remind them the best. Oh, way. find me on, on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, and uh, you can follow Culinary Crossroads. We've got a lot coming up with that. Nice. Um, so yeah, all sorts of things. How did that spring dinner series go for it, Culinary Crossroads? We are Crossroads? wrapping it up tonight. Okay. So this is the last oh, cool. night. Raising funds for the Greg Hardesty Scholarship, yeah. the Culinary Scholarship at Ivy Tech, in honor of uh, late chef Greg Hardesty. Okay, nice. we'll give Jolene a follow oh, on social. Jolene. Check out Culinary Crossroads as well. Jolene, we love it when you're here. Thanks oh, so much. Yeah. It's always great always to be here. Always something new to check out. Always fun. Well, let's go meet our next guest, shall let's we? Let's do it. Jolene, you're going to love this. Yes, yes. yes. absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, welcome to our next guest, <laughs> Lucas Mole here. He has some big news about a wine festival coming to town. And that's right, Jolene, you heard that wine festival. <laughs> she probably already knows about it, though. Hi, Lucas, how are Hi, you? How are you doing, Lucas? How are you guys today? Doing Great. all right. Tell us about this festival coming up. Well, first of all, it's not too early for wine, right? No, oh. no, I mean, 1021. 1021 is right, is, uh, right yeah. on time for us. A little bit, yeah. Yes. So here's a sangria for you. Oh, oh thank sangria. you. Perfect. Actually, just thank won you, an Lucas. award in San Francisco. Really? Oh, and wow. it's from uh, Easley Winery in Indianapolis. Okay, oh, all right. Wow, yeah. Who's yeah. your wine? So we are promoting Uncork Me uh, Indiana today. It is an endless wine tasting festival at Military Park on June 24th. 
Uh, Lucas, this sangria is fantastic. This is it's dangerous, nice. Right? It is oh, dangerous. that's sneaky. Yeah. You yeah. could be just sipping on that all day and then, you know, whoop. You, you said it's a it's an all day endless wine fest. Well, not all day. Okay. Three to seven PM. Three to seven. Okay. So we do it in moderation. Yes. Yes. And you do have food there. Correct. So that you can pace yourself, mm. you can have some food. Yep. And you've got live entertainment. It's gonna be a blast. So we have thirty four uh, Indiana specific wineries, meateries, and cideries. Wow. Okay. Uh, Seven local food carts. I'm a, I'm an event junkie, so I like mm -hmm. making an event that I want to go to. Yeah. Uh, and then three different forms of entertainment. So first, we'll have uh, dueling pianos. Oh, Playing fun. an entire four-hour set. I told them that their goal is to make me dance, and I don't dance in public very often. Okay. Probably mm -hmm. shouldn't have told you. Uh, <laughs> like, Ooh, we're gonna get you dancing. Our second, our second uh, <laughs> form of entertainment is silent disco. So oh, I yeah. love that. we'll have 150 headsets with people looking like they're crazy with no music. Yeah, yeah. it's really fun. I love and then, that. Uh, we'll have drag performances from um, oh, yeah. uh, a couple of local drag performers. Okay, it's all right. It's gonna be a party out yeah, there. Yeah, really What did you be. want to put this on? So we do this event uh, in Madison, Wisconsin, uh, Wisconsin, which is we're based out of as well, and uh, we do it in Portland, Maine. So oh, okay, nice. just uh, a love for attending events yeah. and a growing love for wine. Uh, I'm no expert by any means, but I do enjoy sampling sangria every It's now. delicious. We say the same. We're no experts, but we will Very we will nice. sample whatever you have. For yeah. us. And I know you're representing a lot of local places here. Yes, ma'am. So what did you bring today? So today we have a couple from Easley Winery. Uh, this is their primary brand, Easley. Um, and then they also do the sangrias as well, which is what you guys are drinking. Super delicious. delicious. Yeah, that's great. This is all from my personal collection, by the way. I try, okay. I try to visit all of the wineries prior, just so I can get to know the winemakers yeah. and nice. build that connection. That's great. So I've been going around all over the state. Uh, right here we have uh, Buck Creek. Sure. This nice. is also based out of Indian Indianapolis. Yeah. Their uh, favorite one they have is the Yee Yee. So anytime you order this in their winery, they go Yee Yee. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yee -yee. Did you know that? Yeah. Taylor knows that. Yeah. Yeah. Yee Yee. Yee Yee. All right. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Yee -yee. You did it right. Yeah. That's fun. It's fun to say. So that's what we have here in the middle. And then on our far left, we have uh, Brandywine Creek as well. Oh, OK. Nice. So it's yeah, right great. down the street from Buck Creek. Oh, that's awesome. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, this is incredible. Let's remind everybody where they can get those tickets. Yeah, for sure. You can get your tickets from brothersmalloyevents.com. Malloy spelled M-O, the Irish way, not the American way. OK. Uh, or you can follow us on Facebook or Instagram at Brothers Malloy Events. Great. Well, Lucas, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. And cheers. cheers. Yeah. Thank Go you for bringing out. some of your wine Absolutely. here. Uncork Me Wine Festival. Go get tickets there. Brothers Malloy Events. Give them a follow on Facebook and Instagram as well. Thanks, Lucas. Thank you. Well, coming up next, we're going to introduce you to an inspiring young man who's benefited from the therapeutic services at Riley and tell you how you can contribute to Riley's mental and behavioral health campaign for local youth this month. That's right. We have more amazing, positive, local content coming your way right after this break. We'll see you soon. Don't you ever go, don't you ever go, don't you ever